In this video, we're going to be talking about three things. How to add people to your Tableau online site, who can add them, and then site roles and how to modify them. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts when I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to YouTube. Okay, we're here in the YouTube studio. Uh, the main reason is this question came in from uh, Balshandra Kolikar. I hope I said your name right. Um, and the question is, with a single creator license with Tableau Online for organization, can we add users just for the viewing of a dashboard? Very interesting question. We're going to go through that uh, right away. We're, what we're going to do first, actually, is let's head over to Tableau Desktop. All right, I've got Tableau Desktop up right now, and I've just got Superstore just to show the kind of, so that we can publish something. And if, let's say you're in the organization and you're the first person to buy Tableau, right? You're the first person with a creator license. Like I was, you know, when I did it uh, with the organization I was working with, you go here and you know, you publish for the very first time and you'll see this create site. Um, when you create that site, you will become the very first admin of that site. And then you can go ahead and add more users. Eventually, you can get more admins who can add more users. So pretend I've created a site and it's been published. So what we're going to do is going to head over to a Tableau online site that I manage. All right. And here we are at a Tableau online site. And let me just kind of go through quickly how the roles work. So you start with an admin at the top and then you've got like your creators. And then underneath that, you've got your explorers and viewers and all that so it's kind of like a three-tier system the the person with the highest level is always the admin now the person who creates the site at the beginning is the first admin but you can add more so when you go down when you go into your tableau online if you are an admin you will see i'm pretty sure this entire group here if you're not an admin you won't see any of this and you want to select users which is where i am now and you see a whole list of people that are in your site now to add someone you got two options if you click this add users button right here right you there's two ways you enter the email address right whatever their name is and then you can set the site role right so it's creator explorer whatever it might be um this is very important because then you can kind of keep track of well who's using what kind of licenses let's say you you bulk purchased you know a thousand licenses you can kind of maintain and mo uh, monitor and manage how many people you've got using what, who, what kind of support each one needs. It helps a lot to make sure that's all organized. The second method is the import from file. So with a CSV, you can pretty much do an email address, comma, email address, comma. Email. And that's good for like, let's say I'm going to start up an entire division. I don't have to type them in one by one. I can just say, can you give me a list of all the people you have, right? Copy paste done and then each one gets an alert and they have a self-service kind of setup and once they're done they can log in and access pretty much everything let's get out of there all right now let's talk about who can add who from memory and from my understanding and i'm pretty sure i'm right about this only admins can add right but when you create a site you don't want to be the only admin because that's a pretty big responsibility, especially if it's a large organization. So what you can do is you can appoint other people as admins. And that's what I've done um, to share the load. So for let's say 50 to 100 people, I might have three admins, um, but that can also depend on your uh, organizational structure. So let's say you have three main sites, right? Like three main buildings scattered. You probably want an admin in each. Um, and then if you have multiple divisions in there, depending on the size, you probably want multiple admins in there as well. So who knows for a thousand, you can probably have 10 different admins all working together, all having contact, making sure everything's managed. Now let's say I've got this first person and I want to make them an admin. All I do is I click on these three dots. I can go, oops, I can go site role and I can quickly change them to an administrator and you can, you know, switch them back, switch them forth. And that is pretty much it. It's actually freakishly simple to manage your users um, in Tableau Online. Now, if you need help managing creators through the customer portal, let me know about that. If you're having trouble with the, on, uh, the online building, which can be confusing if it's your first time, get into the comments uh, for me and I'll try and make as many videos to help you out and walk you through because it does take a while to get used to if you've never done this kind of stuff before. But I'm pretty sure that kind of covers the basics 
to how to get started. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. New videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and have a great day. Bye.